Let me begin by wishing you a very happy Father's Day, and I'm very glad that you chose to come and, and be here with us today at church. As you can see, we're out here in God's creation, and we're at a football stadium, because I want to share a special message with you dads today. Being a dad today is challenging, especially in today's culture. I remember when Shannon and I were, were getting ready to have children, and, and we felt that we were so ready we, we didn't just have what to expect when you're expecting. We had got what to expect during the toddler years, and we had even read that book. And then we had children. And then everything changed. And we went from thinking that we were prepared to just trying to survive. As I said, being a dad is hard. But somehow, we made it through. Between all of the sporting events and, and games and then me becoming a coach and helping my sons with softball and football and baseball and basketball, all of the different things. Those sporting events become for me a metaphor of what it means to actually be a dad today with your kids. There are some roles that we see on the football field that are critical for a successful football game to take place. The first role is the role of the groundskeeper. Now you look out at the field behind me and you're going to see all of these wonderful straight lines laid out on the football field. They're there because the groundskeeper came to do his work. He laid out all of those lines so that when the players come out on the field, they know where the end zone is. They know where the inbounds and out of bounds is. They know where the next first down is going to be for them because of all of those lines that he has laid out on the field. You see, he has laid out the boundaries. Imagine a groundskeeper that didn't lay out the boundaries of the field. I remember growing up, at my grandma's house, we would play football in the street. And we would use a driveway or, or a tree or, or a set of bushes or maybe even a car as the boundaries for our football field that we played in the street. What inevitably took place was arguments would break out because somebody would say, oh, you were out of bounds. Or, no, I wasn't out of bounds. I was clearly in bounds. But it, was, but it was always an argument that came out because the boundaries were not clearly laid out. So somebody would end up going home. Imagine a dad that doesn't lay out the boundaries for his children. If you don't set proper boundaries for your children, then you are in for a very rough road. No one ever compliments a groundskeeper for how straight the lines are on the field. And you're not going to get any thanks for setting boundaries up for your children. But it is critical that you do so. The scriptures say, Proverbs 22, verse 6, Train a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not turn from it. Another very important role that we see at a football game isn't just the groundskeeper, but it's the role of the referee. Now what the referee does is he monitors the boundaries that have already been laid out. And he has to throw a flag down every now and then because there is a, an out of bounds play that takes place. Now this isn't what we typically think of of being a dad as being a referee, but listen, sometimes you have to throw a flag down on the play. It's past your curfew and you stayed out too late. You broke that rule and that was a clear rule. You knew that you should not break that rule and we're throwing the flag down on a play. This is a job that nobody really likes, but it is essential. I mean, imagine a football game where a referee spends more time trying to make sure that the players like him, trying to be friends with the players, than he does actually making the hard calls that need to be made. Chaos would ensue. Imagine a dad that spends more time trying to friend his children than he does actually being the referee in their life and calling the tough calls 
that need to be made. Nobody likes a referee. In fact, the players argue with the referee on almost every call that he makes. But he's critical to the game. Without the referee, there is not football. And without a dad that will not make tough calls, there is no family. Dad, you need to remember, the kids are not going to like when you make these tough calls. But that's what God has called you to do. And the stakes are so much higher than just whoever wins a dumb football game. The stakes are literally life and death in the spiritual arena of your kids' lives. Sometimes you have to throw the flag down. You have to be the referee. And it's so important that you are a groundskeeper laying out the boundaries for your kids' lives as well. The scriptures say this, Proverbs 22, verse 15. Folly is bound up in the heart of a child, but the rod of discipline will drive it far from him. Dad, your role, your calling, is to teach your kids what is right and what is wrong and to make the tough calls in their life. Zig Ziglar said that a child who has not been disciplined with love by his little world will be disciplined without love by the great big world. So we need to do this now because it's for the benefit of your kids. We have to take on this role of being the referee, even though we know when we do it, we're not going to be liked. And every time we do it, we're probably going to find ourselves in an argument. But we do it because it's the right thing to do. There's another role that you see on the football field. And I would say this role is probably the most important role that you see on the field. And that is the role of a coach. As a dad, you need to help encourage, motivate, and inspire your children to reach the goal of becoming like Jesus. How do you do that? Well, I believe the best way that you can coach your children is that you set the example by letting them see in you Jesus first. Listen to this scripture from the Apostle Paul from 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 15 and 16. Even though you have 10,000 guardians in Christ, you do not have many fathers. For in Christ Jesus, I became your father through the gospel. Therefore, I urge you to imitate me. Paul was saying, I'm going to show you how to reach your goal personally. I want you to do not only as I say, but to do as I do. Watch me. And dad, that's exactly what you need to do with your children. When your kids look at your life, they should be able to clearly see Jesus. Your kids need to know what it looks like to be a real man. You need to show your children what a real, happy, good, healthy marriage looks like. Your kids, especially you dads that, that have sons, you need to show your sons how to treat women, how to respect women to show chivalry to women. You need to show your kids that integrity is a way of life. Your kids need to be able to clearly identify when they see a grown man acting like a little boy. They'll say, that's not a real man because I've seen it in my dad for years. He's a real man. That's what you need to do with your children. But most importantly, your kids need to see Jesus Christ in you, in your life. And they need to see that because you are daily submitting to his coaching in your life as well as you coach your kids to follow him. We need to remember, Dad, our kids are always 
watching us. Maybe you noticed this where we were filming a large portion of what I've been talking to you about this morning was at Norwalk Football Stadium, the home of the Warriors. The scriptures have something significant to say about warriors. I want you to listen to this verse. Psalm 127 verse 4. Like arrows in the hands of a warrior are sons born in one's youth. Our children are like arrows in the hands of a warrior. The question is, Dad, what kind of arrows are you raising your kids up to be? And what are we aiming our kids at? Have we turned them into nothing more than toy arrows? Look at this. It seems like a lot of dads are merely raising their kids to to just have a good paying job or just have a lot of fun. But think about it. How threatening is a toy arrow to anybody? The Bible says that we are to raise our kids with more than just the notion of having a good paying job or just having fun. Our aim is to be much more noble than that as dads. What's the difference between a toy bow and arrow and a real compound bow and a real arrow? Well, one is lethal. One can provide security and safety and even meals for a home. The other, well... You're just having fun, and it serves no real purpose in life whatsoever. We have an enemy, and his name is Satan. And the Bible says that he prowls around looking for whom he can devour. And when Satan looks at your child or your children, does he see merely a a toy arrow, or does he see something lethal, something that gives him pause, something that maybe even frightens him. You see, Dad, your role is to equip your child to be ready for the spiritual battle that we are all engaged in. We can't ignore that. We can't deny that. And just like I said, on the football field, We have to lay out the boundaries. We have to make tough calls. We have to motivate and inspire our children. But most of all, we have to prepare them for the war that we are involved in. And so, Dad, I hope that you are are raising warriors. Warriors who will stand in the army of the Lord. Happy Father's Day, Dad.